So you're going to log into your Google account, and if you don't uh, see this window here where you can click on security, click on the um, your initials in the top right corner and select to manage your Google account, and then select security. You're going to scroll down until you see use less secure apps or less secure app access. You're going to click on it and turn it on. Once that is turned on, click on the nine dots in the top right corner and open Gmail. And then in Gmail, you're going to click on the settings gear icon here in the top right and then click see all settings. You're going to select forwarding and pop slash IMAP. You're going to enable pop for all mail and you're going to select to enable IMAP and save changes. Now open Outlook, go to the file menu, click on account settings, go down to manage profiles, show profiles. We're going to add and you can name the profile whatever you want. You can make it uh, Gmail. Click OK. And you're going to select manual setup or additional server types and click next. You're going to select pop or IMAP and click next. Put your name, your email address. You're going to change the account type to IMAP. The incoming mail server is imap.gmail.com. The outgoing server is smtp.gmail.com. You're going to put your password here and then click on more settings. Click on outgoing server tab at the top and select my outgoing server requires authentication. Then click on the advanced tab. And for incoming server, we're going to change the type of encrypted connection to SSL, which should change your IMAP incoming server to 993. And then for outgoing server, you're going to change to SSL, and then you're going to manually type 465 in the outgoing server. Click OK. Click Next. It's going to test the connection, and it's going to send a test email. Once you see two green check marks for logging in and sending a test email, you can close that window. Click Finish. And then you're going to select always use this profile and change it to that profile that you just created. Click apply, click OK, close out of Outlook, and then reopen Outlook. When you reopen Outlook, it's going to open up your new profile with your Google Workspace email. It may prompt you to enter your Google Workspace password one more time. And once you do that, then your email should start coming into uh, outlook.